Hello viewers, I am Ayuade Adedeji Moses. I am a clinical nutritionist and a clinical consultant at Adidam's Nutrition Consult. If you have any questions or comments, you can email or WhatsApp the contact displayed on the screen. Today, I will be talking about the topic, Does Milk and Mud Drink Give Blood? There is a misconception about the subject matter. Though it has been seen in many hospitals, after people have donated their blood, milk or mud or the combination of both were given to blood donors. So people believe they were given those items to replenish and boost the blood they have donated. This has influenced the belief of people to think the addition of milk and mud is good for boosting blood. Most times at home, when people notice an individual shows being anemic, you will see people giving such individual milk and mud. This belief has become a general belief and there is need to inform people to know the best way to boost their blood. To start with, let us look at the nutritional content of milk and that of mud. According to United States Department of Agriculture USDA, 100 grams of milk contains 1 gram of total fat, 5 mg of cholesterol, 44 mg of sodium, 150 mg of potassium, 5 g of carbohydrates, 3.4 g of protein, calcium, cobalamin, magnesium, phosphorus, and zinc. Looking at malt drink, according to USDA, 100 g of malt contains fat, cholesterol, sodium, potassium, carbohydrate, protein, caffeine, calcium, cobalamin, magnesium, vitamin B2, vitamin B3, and vitamin B6 for the production of blood. Minerals such as iron and copper are very important for the manufacturing of LD red blood cells. Iron is required for deoxyribonucleic acid synthesis and it is required for red blood cell function. Iron increases the number of red blood cells the blood produces. Iron makes the larger part of him in hemoglobin. The hemoglobin in blood carries oxygen from the lungs to tissues of the body. The hemoglobin also facilitates the return of carbon oxide. If an individual's diet is deficient in iron, the body of such individual cannot produce enough heme to make hemoglobin which is needed for functional red blood cells. Copper on the other hand is important for iron metabolism in the body. Copper helps the body to have access to the iron needed for the formation of red blood cells. Copper helps in breaking down iron and also helps in making hemoglobin. Iron is stored in the body as ferritin and hemosiderin in liver, spleen, marrow and duodenum. Iron has two forms of absorbable dietary iron in the body. These are heme iron and non-heme iron. Heme iron is more readily absorbed at higher rate than non-heme iron. The recommended dietary allowance for copper for adult men and women is 900 microgram. The dietary rec the recommended dietary allowance for iron for children aged 2 to 11 years is 13.7 to 15.1 mg per day. For teenagers aged 12 to 19 is 16.3 mg per day. For men is 19.3 to 26.5 mg per day and for women older than 19 years of age is 17 to 18.9 mg per day. Looking at both milk and malt, they both lack or have very small quantities of both iron and copper. Milk and malt are not dietary sources of iron and copper. This means taking either milk or combination of both milk and malt cannot give blood because they are deficient and not good sources of iron and copper. Also, milk has a very small quantity of folate and vitamin C. Folate acts by activating enzymes needed to form him. The deficiency of folate in the body can result to an insufficient number of healthy red blood cells in the body. This condition is called vitamin deficiency anemia. Both milk and malt lack vitamin C. Studies have shown that vitamin C helps to enhance iron absorption. Taking vitamin C with non im iron food sources will enable the non im iron to be stored in a form which is more easily absorbable by the body. 
many dietary sources of iron produces the non-heme iron form which is not readily absorbed by the body. Taking it with food that are rich with vitamin C will help in the absorption of iron in the body. Food sources that are rich in iron include the following beef, chicken liver, poultry, fish, green leafy vegetables, beans and lentils, cashews, fortified breakfast series. Food sources that are rich in copper are liver, oysters, nut and seeds, dark chocolates, green leafy vegetables, lobsters, mushrooms. Food sources that are rich in folate are green leafy vegetables, broccoli, beans, fortified series, and cantaloupe. Food rich in vitamin C include citrus fruits which include oranges, lemon, grapefruit. Green, we have green leafy vegetables, tomatoes, bell peppers, strawberries, papaw, guava, and carrot. The fat is an individual may take milk or combination of milk and malt and still be anemic. That is, the person can be short of blood. This can happen if the individual is not consuming food sources that are rich in iron, copper, folate, and vitamin C. Though milk contains calcium, vitamin D, and other important nutrients, which are good for development of healthy bones, milk is a good source of protein. Some research has linked calcium to reduce risk of obesity. Malt, on the other hand, are good energy source. They are packed with important vitamins and protein. It alleviates stress, improves digestion, and also improves heart health by lowering the levels of bad cholesterol in the body. But it must be known that either milk or malt or combination of both cannot boost or produce blood. Thank you for viewing this video. I am Ayuade Adedejimosis. I am a clinical nutritionist and a nutritional consultant at Adidam's Nutrition Consult. If you have any questions or comments, you can email or WhatsApp the contact displayed on the screen. Subscribe to this channel for more nutrition tips to live a healthy life. See you next time. Thank you. Stay safe.